Okay, if you're a fan of David Letterman, well, you're likely a fan of Paul Schaefer, too, since he was the late night talk show host's right hand man for more than 30 years. Hattie Dijamal caught up with the legendary band leader and found out a few things you probably didn't know about him on the hot list. Now, say hello to Paul Schaefer, ladies and gentlemen, and the world's most dangerous band. Paul Schaefer was David Letterman's musical director, band leader, and sidekick on the entire run of both of his late night shows from 1982 to 2015. 33 years. I can't believe it. He is a Grammy Award winner. He is our musical director and most importantly, a good friend. And he was recently honored with a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Wharton Institute for the Performing Arts. Kind of overwhelmed, as you can see. It leaves me a little speechless. It certainly is a wonderful honor and kind of humbling, if you don't mind my saying so. The 72-year-old musical legend told us a few things you might not know about him. You're a musical genius. Uh, you've worked with everybody important in music for Geez, 40 years at least, maybe longer. I've had a great run. Starting with the fact that he was almost cast on one of the biggest shows of all time, Seinfeld. You gotta be kidding me! I was certainly offered a role in that show. Maybe it's funny for you. My accountant doesn't think it's that funny. <laughs> I got a call from a production company saying we're doing a new show with Jerry Seinfeld. He wants you to be his sidekick. And I said, Seinfeld, please. No, I didn't really, but basically the story is true. And I turned down the biggest, you know, the most respected and beloved show in the history of television. Next, why David Letterman was the key to his success in Late Night. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Is it show over? The show is not over. How generous he was and encouraging to me. First time I opened my mouth on camera, he said, that was great, do more of that, you know? And he continued to be like that for the whole 33 years. So I'll, I'll never forget that. That's it. it was wonderful. Thanks for letting me do it. I'll never be able to repay you for uh, everything. Thank you, David. Same goes for me. Finally, Paul co-wrote the Grammy-nominated number one dance hit, It's Rain and Men. Uh, and have we got no but Barbara Streisand, Diana Ross, Cher, and other famous names turned it down. Donna Summer turned it down. I and my uh, co-writer, the great genius Paul Jabara, who had the original idea, let's write a song called It's Raining Man, for Donna Summer. She hated it when we finally wrote it and he presented it to her. And that's when he went on to present it to Barbara, Diana, Patti LaBelle might be on that list too. They all hated it. The Weather Girls said yes, and the rest is as they say, history. They're still playing that song crazily at that. Yeah! Paul Schaefer on the hot list.